I'm kind of old. True. My life's kind of boring. Also true. But I'll film it anyway. No one asked for this. Hope you're ready for it, cause I'm blocking till Christmas Day. Oh my god, please never let me do that again. Well, it happened. I got sick. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Vlogmas number five. We made it almost halfway before I got freaking sick. It actually started happening um, right when we got home from the Christmas lights, which was, I think, the last thing you saw in Vlogmas. I started feeling like a little tickle in my throat and I was like, oh no. And I actually didn't even get to spend my dad's last day with him in LA. Um, I was really sad about it and I just didn't want to get him sick. And he didn't have that much time here before he went to the airport anyways but it was just a huge bummer. I was like really, really sad. I actually like was on my period at the same time and I was literally just like laying in bed crying. <laughs> it was really dramatic, but it's fine. And it's been like four days and I'm like continually getting worse and don't worry, I have tested negative for COVID. It's just one of those things, I guess. Um, and it's going around right now and I don't know if it was the flu or if it is the flu or not because I keep getting these bouts of like body aches and that doesn't really happen like that long for me when I am sick with a cold but it's been like day three of body aches and it's pretty gnarly but I gave myself three full days like three full days in bed and I just have to like I have to do something today so I literally just like put on a little bit of mascara I don't have any face makeup on or anything but I thought you know we gotta the show must go on I'm gonna take it easy I'm not gonna leave the house obviously I'm not gonna leave the house when I'm sick anyways but I'm just gonna like take it really easy today and you know it's vlogmas so we're along for the journey all the ups and downs so you're gonna you know hang out on a sick day with me so first things first I'm kind of in the mood to have coffee for the first time in like several days and we got this new coffee machine and I haven't even gotten to try it out yet. So I think that's first thing on the agenda. Maybe gonna like try to make a fancy coffee and make myself feel better. <laughs> I look how I feel. I feel how I look. I immediately just got back in bed and I'm gonna watch some YouTube. I actually just finished, it's about 10 a.m. I just finished very, very, very last minute uploading my newest main channel video and I was putting the finishing touches on it at like 9.45. So um, really cutting it close this morning. I'm about to watch Molly Burke's new condo tour. Um, it's so cute and I love her. Thank God I got this little tray um, to do my work on and I can lay in bed and I can like take it around because I don't really have a desk to work at in this house. Drew has an extra desk in his office, but a lot of times like he has work calls and stuff and I just want to like give him his space. So I've been thinking about potentially putting a desk here in my bedroom or transforming my office a little bit and maybe like taking out that orange couch it's kind of just there as an accessory at this point and then maybe putting a desk there, maybe even like a walking desk type of thing. But I don't know if I'll like really stick with that. So who knows? But yeah, I can't believe I got sick again. I don't know what it is. I think it's just like my immune system like readjusting. And you know, maybe it's the fact that usually when I lived in Arizona, I was going out like once a month, if that. Like I was doing something socially like once a month. And since moving back to LA, when I have like a lot more friends here, a lot of my hometown Tennessee friends live here and social media friends and stuff um i feel like it's i'm doing way more like i'm doing stuff multiple times a week and maybe that's why i think i got sick from hanging out with my friend last week um her husband and daughter were sick and then she ended up getting sick so i think that's where i got it from but it's just what happens it's this time of year especially and i mean i'm i'm hoping that since i'm sick now i'll 
be okay for Christmas time because I'm usually like always sick at Christmas. It sucks. And yeah, like in a normal, I mean, first of all, I didn't get sick for two years, but in like a normal year, I would probably get sick like twice, maybe three times in a year. And I think I've gotten sick four times since we moved here in June and it's December. So I don't know what's going on, but I'm just trying to recover. So I'm gonna watch some YouTube videos. I don't really have any more editing work to do. I'm like pretty much all caught up on that. So I might do some like plan content planning, you know, that kind of stuff. Try to get back into getting some work done, but also like rest at the same time, hence the bed situation. I'm very happy about this. <laughs> I was just sitting there, you know, watching my YouTube videos and I had this thought and I was like, I could be doing this from the bathtub. Like, why am I not sitting in the bath? Like soaking in like a nice Epsom salt bubble bath situation, I feel like is really gonna help my body. I've been taking baths like every single day that I've been sick. And yeah, like why am I not in the bath right now? You know? <coughs> So I'm gonna fill up my water and make myself like a nice spa bath because that just always helps me reset And then I can like watch the vlogmas videos. I want to watch today and like maybe some tiktoks from the bathtub genius my lens is gonna steam up because I'm in a hot bath like that makes sense but oh boy does this feel nice I'm actually gonna read a little bit of the next book that I've been reading and it's called one day in December I actually saw my friend Chelsea or choosing Chelsea from Instagram TikTok talking about this book and then when I opened it I saw that it was in Reese Witherspoon's book club I don't I'm not familiar with her book club but I think a lot of people follow along with that and it's like kind of Christmassy themed I'm only like literally eight percent into the book like I just started it not too long ago I think I only read a few pages um like the first night so I'm gonna try to get some festive vibes going read like a Christmassy book I recommend it so far I mean I'm not that far into it but it's about like a sort of missed encounter type of thing and then like trying to find that person again and it takes place in London which I love obviously as we know so i'm gonna put a little dent in on this and then once i get out of the bath we're gonna have some lunch and do a very fun little taste test for lunch so i'm trying to chug as much water as possible because i am coughing up a storm i definitely think i'm gonna put on an old navy onesie after this that is like my ultimate comfort outfit that makes me excited for when i'm done with this but for now we're gonna continue on with the book Right, we're out of the bath reluctantly. I wish I could have stayed in forever. It looks like this mirror is really dirty, but it's just like a mercury glass kind of finish. But I do have my old navy onesie on and I couldn't be happier about it. I'm so cozy. Hi! Hi. Drew reminded me that we haven't done our advent calendars yet today. So, oh, you set them out and everything. Go ahead. You're on four. Yeah, I am. Lipstick. It looks like a lipstick. Oh, oh cute. mascara! You got candy. candy. What kind? Strawberry you grape. You go grape, gross. Yeah, that's a lot of grape. What I kind think it's is gum? it? Gum. Oh, let's try. It. I mean, we are gonna eat in a minute. I mean, it's gonna lose its flavor. Yeah, that's true. I'll try the grape. I don't mind. Here you go. Mm -hmm. Here you go. This flavor is actually good. It's not like Tylenol flavor. The mascara that I got is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. Did you know that's what it was called? He goes. <laughs> Here she is. Beautiful. I have a little bit of mascara on this morning and it's like the Ilia. I mixed the volumizing and the lengthening one. I gotta spread this gum out. By the way, this is what it looks like. How cute. It's really tasty, but we're about to eat lunch, so I'm gonna spit it out. Oh boy, it's a special delivery. If you're on TikTok at all, then you would have probably seen this already. I am so curious about this. But this is like the most viral thing I have seen in a while. Hello, welcome Hello. to my office. Welcome Hi. to lunch break. It's me. <laughs> you probably don't want to get too close because I'm sick. 
So this is called a tuna cotto sandwich. This place is called Joe and the Juice, and I'm pretty sure it's actually like a Danish owned restaurant or like it's in Denmark, I want to say someone said. Oh really? And so it's this sandwich. I do see a big tomato, which looks, I don't know. But it's this sandwich that's like gone so viral on TikTok because supposedly it's like super delicious. So it's like a tuna sandwich. It has tuna, avocado, pesto, tomato, and some other stuff. And apparently like the bread is super delicious and unique and like crunchy. And I just see people crunch it into this shit all the time and they talk about how good it is. So Here's we're about to find out. It's pretty good. Mm -hmm. I'd rather just have a regular tuna sandwich with like relish. The pesto was a nice touch. I'm trying to get like everything. <laughs> I like the fuck you brought. Mm-hmm. Lou apparently wants some. Mm -hmm. Honestly, what do you give it out of 10? Probably like an eight. Yeah, I would say so too. Like maybe even a nine. It's really delicious. Nine. Maybe 40. Maybe 40. <laughs> Our life only exists in TikToks now. Like we just communicate via TikTok. But it's really good. The tuna flavor is really good. I like that the bread has like a little bit of crunch. I actually like it on this bread a lot. And I just saw so many people on TikTok biting into this thing and let, like the bread was really crunchy. Super crunchy. It's a good crunch. And I'm eating it with tomato on it. So that's how you know it's good. They have a spicy one too. So maybe you'll have to try oh, it really? out sometime. Really delicious. Not mad at that at all. Many hours later, and it is now that time to get nice and cozy. So we're gonna turn on these lights. Super cute, a personal fave. We're gonna turn on, actually, I don't even know if we've turned these on yet. Our little houses, so cute, love that. We can turn on our little wreath. We can turn on the lights behind our TV. We'll do green, and we can even change the color of that. It's holiday time, baby. This is so much fun. Oh my God, it's so Christmassy. I don't know how I feel about this, maybe green? Whoa. I would turn these on, honestly, most of them are dead. I actually kind of want to take them off. They're sort of bothering me because if they don't all light, like what's the point? But okay, there we go. <laughs> about a third of them light up. At least it's cozy. We've got a couple different shades of green happening, but it's fine. So it's been several hours and I've just been trying to like rest up, relax. And now it's time to make some dinner, but the day's not a total wash because we just did something very exciting. Do you want to share? Um, well, so something happened and we're possibly, no, no it's not definitely possibly, for sure going on a trip in our little rocket ship. <laughs> Um, back, back to, to Arizona, yay! <laughs> We're going back to Japan. Japan, woo! Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, shimmy it out. If I wasn't sick, I'd have a lot more energy, but basically, I'm gonna just sit, I've been sitting in this chair a lot today. It's kind of nice. Drew told me I should just sit here and he'll make me dinner, and I was like, that sounds like a deal. He's obviously in a very good mood, but basically, um, We've been talking about taking a trip back to Japan for a while and when our friends were here for Thanksgiving We kind of got to talking about it and we had always talked about going with them like for years Honestly, I think we were talking about going together in 2020 and then obviously we know what happened So that just got put on pause and now here we are And so we were kind of just like chatting about it and then on Thanksgiving we were all four like yeah Let's do it. Our friend texted us like in the group chat and was like hey tickets are Pretty affordable cheapest right now. I've yeah, seen. like the cheapest we've seen in a while. And it's on the airline that we want to fly. And so we were like, should we just book it now? So we literally just booked it probably 15 minutes ago. So that is very exciting. We're not only going to Japan, but we're going with our friends. We've been like talking about doing this trip together for so long. And like they're so wonderful and they're well traveled and really fun to go places with and explore with. And they're like very much the same as us with like, they want to try all the foods and they want to see all the things and experience a different culture and like all that kind of stuff. So we are freaking stoked. Unexpected turn for the day is that we're going back to Japan, which like we knew was going to happen, but now it's like official, official, like it's booked. Drew's crying because he's cutting an onion, but also you're just crying because you're so, yeah. <laughs> so in celebration, 
we were going to make a Japanese recipe, which we were already gonna make anyways. Don't cry, it's okay. You're so excited. <laughs> Drew's just very emotional about it. So emotional. <laughs> to our Japan trip. To our Japan I'm gonna trip. Because someone is sick. <laughs> Yay! He's using it for the sauce, so he was like, why not? Yum. Cover it? Yeah. With our Zenic sauce. <laughs> All right, here she is. We usually do like green onion on top, but honestly, just too lazy. There it is. It's delicious. I'll link the recipe we use down below. Let's go eat and watch a Christmas movie. The time has come for the classic. We're done eating and we figured it's time. It's time! <laughs> and we've, if you like haven't watched us for a while, we recently learned last year that like English people take their Christmas chocolates very seriously. Like every year I during Christmas time. They're I mean, good. Their chocolate is bomb. But every year during the holiday season, they have like Christmas chocolates that come out. So we did try Celebrations, mm -hmm. which is like, it's like a Mars company. So it's Mars Bar, which is like our Milky Way. Is it like a Snickers? There's like Maltesers. Yeah, it's like, you know, stuff that we have here. Um, and then we also tried, the movie in the background, it's kind of loud. We also tried Quality Street chocolates. Mm which are very popular as well. And then there was one more that we haven't tried, and I think I showed this a couple vlogs ago, but we ordered a tub of roses. Oh. We've never had it. It's Cadbury. It's Cadbury, yeah. And we also got a Cadbury Heroes um, advent, advent calendar oh, last year. Oh, We loved the Dinky Deckers. Love them. So. Wow, pretty. They're so pretty. So we're gonna test them out and rank them. We won't make this as long as the other one. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine flavors. Yes. To try. I want the strawberry. Oh, and it actually says on the front. So we have caramel, hazel whirl, hazel and caramel, strawberry dream, caramel, signature truffle, country fudge. Ooh, that's you. Dairy milk. Tangy orange cream. Yeah, you know you're gonna go. love that. Golden barrel. Golden barrel. Golden barrel. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. Got him. So let's. Are we picking test. random? Yeah. Drew's been waiting all day for this, by the way. Pick one. Don't look. I think we should start with the dairy milk first, because that's like the plain one, right? Oh, not fun. And then we've, we've had dairy milks before. Here, I'm gonna adjust it so you can see, because we're gonna rank them after a while. Dairy milk is first. We've had this before. And it's just really, it's like pretty much a solid piece of milk chocolate. Pretty cold. Mm. It's just really good chocolate. Like, mm -hmm. nice. They don't make them like this here. Mm -mm. What do you want to try next? Golden Barrel? What you Golden pick. Barrel? This one's in my thing. My thing yeah, we don't know what Golden Barrel is, so it's the gold in it. Is it honey? Oh, is it's it? a barrel. Oh, it's actually a barrel. That is so cute. Wait, can you see that? Look at it. It's like a little barrel. That is so precious. Oh. Is there goop? Oh. Mmm. That one's tasty. Mmm. Looks like a salted caramel, maybe. That one's really good. Okay. Mm -hmm. You've chosen country fudge next. Country fudge. It's a little bar. It's a little baby. It's not chocolate fudge. It's just fudge. Cause their fudge, their fudge is like by default like vanilla, but if you say like fudge mm -hmm. in the U.S., it's typically a chocolate fudge. It's like, um, I don't want to say butterscotch, but it's like sweet. It does have like a buttery taste. Mhm. Mm really good. Sure. They're all bangers so far. You pick one. Let's do a fruit one. Okay. Let's do strawberry dream. Sorry, strawberry. Strawberry. Here's what she looks like in the wrapper. Is it, it a strawberry? Is it? Oh! It is! It has little strawberry seeds! Cute! It's, you're not gonna see that because honestly, like, this lighting is atrocious. But like, there's little indentations for strawberry seeds on top. How cute is that? All right. Is it a cream or is it a jelly? You're gonna love it. Oh, it's like the- It's exactly what you like. That's delicious. 
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's better than the Quality Street one. Mm -hmm. I just noticed how green we are because of the green on the TV. We're set. We're gonna do the, uh, the orange. Mm -hmm. I'm getting like that, like coin. Coin. Like, yeah. It has a little orange on it. Ah! You're not gonna be able to see it. We keep trying to show it. We're doing what's it called? Orange. orange tangy orange tangy cream. Orange cream. Yeah, tangy mm. orange cream. Is it the same? Yeah. Mm. Do you like mm. it? I'm not a massive chocolate orange fan, but. It's good. It's good. The texture of like the cream. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And it just like cuts the sweetness a little bit. Mm -hmm. I will say with each year, I warm up to chocolate orange more. First so, time I had it, I was like, ew, ew. Like, we have one of the Terry's in the mm -hmm. pantry for my mom. Mm -hmm. I might break into that. It's not bad. <laughs> Next. Oh my God, I'm going to be ill. We have two hazelnut ones. So should we try one of those? Hazel whirl or hazelnut and caramel? Let's do hazel and caramel. There she is. Hazel in caramel. I wonder if there's a nut in it, like a hazelnut in mm, it. Maybe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm. Mm-hmm. Oh, good. Ooh. So good. I like that the caramel has like a saltiness to it because these are so sweet. Like the dairy milk by itself is like so sweet. You can't have any. It's chocolate. Oh my God. Delish. Let's try signature truffle. Signature truffle. This must be like the OG. That's a rose. Oh, cute. I don't, I don't know. It's, we keep trying to show it every single time and then it's just it's look look there's a rose. rose on top truffle mm. is it so good mm -hmm. yes, yes, like our fudge indeed. that would be like mm -hmm. if we had like a chocolate fudge oh yes, so indeed. good it's almost like the hot cocoa mm. mm -hmm. like cocoa absolutely delicious <laughs> i'm i'm struggling yeah, I'm struggling. I'm not gonna have more when this is over. <laughs> All right. This is caramel. It's just a little bark. Caramel. Should we do it together? Oh, I got more. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Our caramel is like buttery. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's it's like it's almost like the Werther's caramels that you get. You know what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. Almost like butterscotch. Better. Like a butterscotchy caramel. Mm -hmm. Wow. Just better. It is better. All right, last one. Last one is hazel whirl. Hazel whirl. Oh, I wonder if there's like a cute little um like swirl on the top or something. Yep. Ah, cute. It looks like a brand. There's like so much attention to detail. It's got a little swirly whirly on the top. There's probably a nut in it. Mm -hmm. What's what's in it? Just the chocolate and the just chocolate and nut. Mmm. Mm. Delicious. All right. Ranking Should we take time. full ones? So we don't have to use the wrapper. I'm gonna bring you down a little bit so you can see it. Okay, so my number one, wait, is this controversial? Well, Layla's come to join us. I just can't get this angle right. It's fine, it's fine, no one cares. I honestly wanna say like strawberry cream was up there. Mm. And I don't know if that's like controversial. Watch, I pick like the worst ones. If there's one thing English people have the most passionate opinions about it is food and like if you make their food wrong or if you eat it wrong or if you choose the wrong thing no you're not supposed to use that milk or you're not supposed to use it's that in that toast. order <laughs> you're not supposed to put those beans on the toast you're supposed to put the <laughs> other beans on the toast or whatever i mean it was good so <coughs> it was good so i'm like scared i'm gonna be doing this wrong um i mean dairy milk has to be up there because it's so delicious i can't believe that i would say strawberry dream is number one there's no way. Like they were all good. There actually weren't any that I didn't like. So it's a matter of just like putting them in order. I really liked the signature truffle. It's like somewhere in the middle here. I can't believe, like what? I would probably put orange cream as the last. Just, it was still really good, but I would say it's probably the last. The golden barrel was delicious. That had the caramel in it. I would say like fudge next to cream. The hazelnut ones. I mean, they were both great. I would prefer the caramel one over the Plain. Plain. We'll go. This is my order. Here's my official order for roses. Number one, strawberry dream. Number two, signature truffle. Three, dairy milk. Four, golden barrel. This is off the top of my head. Five, hazel and caramel. That feels like it should be higher up. I'm gonna switch that with golden barrel. Six, caramel. Seven, Hazel Whirl, eight country fudge, and nine tangy orange cream. 
There is my mm. ranking. Your turn. My turn. Is that number one? Number one. Strawberry, Strawberry? dream. Cute. Signature fudge. With Tangy orange. Um, Signature truffle, babe. Oh, what did I say? Signature fudge. Oh, truffle. Golden barrel. Golden barrel was good. Um, country fudge, caramel, dairy milk, because it's just chocolate. Yeah. Um, and then the ones with nuts are at the bottom. Um, hazel caramel and then hazel whirl. Wow. And there you have it. That is Drew's ranking. So that's us and the roses. I'm eating more. <laughs> this is not official, so please don't be mad at us if we did it wrong. But um, let us know if you know you agree with our choices. If they're extremely controversial, that would actually be like really interesting to know. But yeah, I can't believe that strawberry cream was both of our favorites. That's just like, I would never pick like a fruit as my number one, but it was just really good. Dare I say my official ranking would be I like these better celebrations. than Celebrations. I was gonna say celebrations, roses, then quality street for mm -hmm. me. Same for you. I like celebrations because it's like I don't wanna say it's more but it's more typical American candy. Or bar. it's just like more what we're used to. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know. Quality streets are like the chocolates your grandparents have. It, that, yeah, sorry if that's like an incorrect assumption, but it did it did kind of feel like these were the chocolates that you'd have at your grandma's house. We did bring them to your mom's and people enjoyed them. Mm -hmm. They're all so good. So we'll have to bring these back for Christmas this year too. It's always like kind of fun coming back and being like, here's these chocolates from England if anyone wants to try them. People are like, yeah, I want to try them. So anywho, <coughs> oh, my cough. Now I need something salty. And now he's gonna go eat chips and that's gonna do it for me for vlogmas today thank you for hanging out on our sick day um or my sick day you're not sick <laughs> we were actually supposed to be going to disneyland tomorrow and friday um with his family that's coming to town they come like i don't know every couple months yeah and go to disneyland and we were like all excited about it but we're not able to go just because i'm sick and drew is like not sure if he's gonna get sick or if he's contagious so unfortunately we're gonna stay home and it's sad <coughs> but I mean, you guys have seen enough Disneyland for, <laughs> for the year. I wasn't going to vlog anyways, but now we'll probably just try to focus on like, obviously me getting better and then like finding Christmas. Yeah. Stuff. Like Christmas presents, um, like shopping for the family and whatnot. And then maybe looking for some stuff for ourselves. We might go to the Rose Bowl this weekend. So if we do, I'll definitely vlog that. But yeah, hopefully I'll be feeling much better. Thanks for watching and for hanging out with us. And we will see you next time. Bye bye. Bye. In Japan. Bye. <laughs> That's such a <don't> mark. <laughs> He's going to be insufferable until then. Goodbye. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs>